happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. It is so good to be here live with you all. Um, let me know what you guys have got going on today. I'm pulling up the live right now so I can see all of our wonderful friends that we have. Father's Day's coming up, like quick, quick coming up, meaning like this coming Sunday, it's Father's Day. I don't know about you, but I think it snuck up on me. And if it snuck up on you too, today we're going to be making three last minute Father's Day gift ideas with our Cricut that are super, super easy. I can make every single one of these in less than half of an hour, like start to finish. It doesn't count us talking and chatting. Seems like a challenge. I'm really excited. <laughs> don't, don't say the C oh. word around me, Becca. You can't say the C word. But welcome. If you guys are new here, my name is Rachel. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lame. And the voice that you hear is Miss Becca, who is also an owner and craft educator here. And it is our mission to make you all confident and well-rounded crafters, no matter what area of crafting you have a passion for. So whether that be for your Cricut, for a glow forge, or another type of laser cutter, if that's for sublimation, for woodworking, for home decor, for sewing, we can help you and walk with you hand in hand and create a confident crafter out of you. If you're in interested, interested, if you're interested in joining Oak and Lamb, please do click the link down below. You can get your very first month for $9.99. And we can't, we can't wait for you to be a part of our flock. We would love that. Ask any and all questions you might have. We'd love to answer questions. That's literally what lives are for. If you guys have been around for a long time, we do have pre-recorded videos that come out, but we do have lives a couple times a week. And these are for answering questions. So ask all the questions that you might have. Today, we're creating a Becca beer stein. Yeah, beer stein. We're creating or a really large ice cream cup. We're creating a really large, I'm kidding. We're creating a beer stein. I got this at the Dollar Tree this morning. This thing is heavy as lead, really good quality, a buck for 25. I mean, you really can't beat that. Uh, so we got that. We have a t-shirt, which all we have are size smalls. So Child small. Sorry for the dads out there. This is not going to fit any of you, but just use your imagination. <laughs> and then we're also creating a keychain out of like thin air. So we've got some faux leather. We're going to use some hot glue, which I do not have. Let me grab that. And then we got some iron on. We got some adhesive vinyl today. We got it all going on. So I'm excited. There's a lot to be seen in this. There's, and if you happen to be a beginner, a cricket beginner, you will absolutely love the training today because it's like super easy training. Now, if you're like a beginner beginner, like you've never purchased your cricket or you've never, you haven't really used your cricket, maybe you've purchased one, maybe you're looking at purchasing one. We do have some free courses at Oak and Lamb, no matter what type of cricket machine you have, whether you have an Explore Maker or a Joy Series machine. All of that in the membership will teach you how to use your Cricut. It's, a, it's amazing. We worked real hard on those, so you would love them too. So let's talk about what something that she mentioned just really quickly. Uh, she said maybe you haven't bought it or maybe you haven't opened your Cricut yet. And I have talked to so many crafters here recently who have the Cricut but have never opened it. How, how do you do that? How do you have a Cricut but not open it? Well, they're Somebody nervous. They're nervous they're because scared. they think the setup is going to be a long, tedious process or learning the software is going to be a long, tedious process. Or maybe they just have, have failed in the past with things or it took them too long or whatever. And I get that. But that is exactly why that's literally why we exist. It's why we're here um, to help you, to empower you to open that box, to plug it, plug in the Cricut, to sign up in, in our Cricut course that Rachel mentioned covers literally everything. There is no way that you can take that course, follow along with it and not become a successful crafter. There's I no don't way. know. I don't know how you couldn't. It, it because honestly, it the crickets children use crickets. They do. Children use crickets. So let's be honest, it is decently easy to use it and it, the the hardest part a lot of times is just taking that first step to open the box and plug it in because it is overwhelming yeah. it's a whole new world there are uh there's a lot of terminology lots of lingos that we talk about there's a lot to do N number one hands down most scary part of the whole cricket process is design space it's absolutely terrifying we get that the videos in that course are going to help you tremendously they're yours forever you can 
pause them, rewind them, watch them as many times as you want. And that Cricut training for Design Space is almost an hour long. Not an hour overwhelming long. It's a really good, really good video. So if you need a refresher, watch mm -hmm. it. If you're new to Cricut, watch it. It's phenomenal. And we uh, had a comment yeah. on YouTube over the weekend about how um, someone was concerned. They had just learned Cricut Design Space and they were concerned that, you know, that they change it a lot and that it would be frustrating. But here's the thing. Our course, we update it as big changes come to Design Space. So uh, we also here at Oak and Lamb are very diligent about recording things as soon as we see that they come out so that we can educate you and, and help you troubleshoot things, especially in design space, because that, I mean, if you don't, if you don't know how to use design space, then you're, you're not going to be very successful with your cricket. So, uh, we are very diligent out about doing that. And, um, we're, we're here to, to make you successful. That's literally our goal. What'd you cut out, Rach? We love it. Okay. So I've already pre-cut everything. <gasps> what? But I will go through what I've pre-cut out. So, I've got, we've got a lot of layers here. This is all everything that we cut for three different projects. Uh, lots of these can be used with scraps. So if you have scraps, this would be great to use for scraps. Uh, so we're gonna use our beer stein with this one, which I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull this up out of here, weed this. I'm putting it back on my mat to weed. Now this is a stencil that I created out of a cut file that Becca made. So since this is a stencil, I am weeding reverse what you would normally weed. So you're probably looking at me like, Rachel, why are you weeding that? I'm weeding this because this is what you're supposed to weed. Look how quick that When weed. you create a stencil. Oh, Rach, it's like you're speed weeding. Speed, you know. Speed weeding. You know, I think I could, I think I could win at that. I think so too. I think I could speed weed. That sounds so like something illegal. <laughs> but I feel like I could do it nonetheless. I'm gonna cut out a piece of transfer tape. And guys, I am sorry, I'm just gonna be transparent. I prepped this last night at home in my head. So I will have all this goodness linked for you later. However, if, I'm not calling you lazy, but you can find all of this in our Amazon shop. Ooh. There is a link for, so you don't have to have individual links if you can just go peruse their whole Amazon shop. So feel free. I'm gonna place this down here, like that. Make some quick work out of this. Anyone think Rachel should use tiny hands to do this whole project? I, if I wasn't doing three, I would. Yeah. For those of you who have not, if you are a flock member and haven't watched the podcast from Friday, it's a funny one. Well, you're missing out if you haven't watched the, yeah. <laughs> the flock talk from Friday. Okay. Becca's favorite part, cleaning of the mug. Oh, Rach, I have a new product for you to use. Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Thanks, Becca. Okay, so right-handed, left-handed, I like to hold it with my dominant hand and then place the decal like going outward that way. So it'll be this way. Oh, Becca, this thing's awesome. I'm gonna put my handle where I want my handle at. Now, I'm just gonna let you guys know, I'm absolutely horrible at placing things even on, on a cup like this. Why? I don't know. I'm bringing my table down because I'm really gonna try and make this look good. Bear with me. Bringing her down. Because the thing with adhesive vinyl projects like this is you wanna be over your project, okay? You really wanna be over it so you can make sure it's nice and even and pretty. So that's what we're gonna try and do here. I'm gonna try and be over top of it. Now you also got one chance fancy here. Once you lay this down, you're done. Does anyone else have to get like deathly quiet when they're putting things on like this? It's like when you're trying to find a place in your car, you know, like follow directions or you've never been somewhere before and you have to turn the music down so you can see where you're going. <laughs> like, why do the I only do one? that? I'm the but same I do. way. I'm the same way. It's like, why does that work? It just helps me concentrate, I guess, but now, it's so funny. If you all happen, if you happen to get like a tapered beer stein, when they did have those two, good luck is all oh, I'm going to yeah, say. For sure. Try not to get one of those. <laughs> Try as hard as you can not to get one of those. Oh, this is cute. Okay. 
Yeah, Far this up. PYD Life mug holder is phenomenal. And you can change it to different sizes, too, which is really cool. And then it has, of course, you can see the, um, I guess that's metric. Oh, the, okay, there's the. It's on this side. Okay. Like both of these. So I'm going through pressing this down. You can use your finger, whatever. You just want to make sure that all of your letters are nice and adhered down where they need to be. I'm going to bring this table back up where I like it. And I know we're going a little out of order. I am sorry, but let me tell you, this uh, armor etch is going to take about half an hour to set on this glass. So I just want to get this over with first. And then we'll go in design space. I'll share with you how easy I got all this done. But we have to go a little bit out of order when we're using etching cream on a live. That's okay. That's okay. We didn't have time to do some movie magic today. Okay, where's my popsicle stick? I'll get another one. I like to use popsicle sticks, super easy. You're gonna take your etching cream, just glob it on. Pe people get real, I don't know, particular about this, don't. Just glob it on. The only thing that you need to be worried about is if it's too globbed on here, it's gonna start to run we don't want it running. If you think it's gonna run, get some painter's tape and cover the sides of your cup, but I'll keep an eye on it. But since this is a curved surface, it might run. So I wouldn't recommend to just kinda like put this on and leave it, like, you know, not babysit it a little bit. So, I mean, that's good, just like that. I mean, that's literally it. Now, you're gonna be able to take this etching cream and reuse it. So you can like scrape it off and put it back in here when you're done with it, which is great. So just put enough on to cover your project. Let me get that. And see, I got some down here. Just wipe it away, wipe it away. If you can catch it before it starts eating away at that glass, you're good to go. So I, I don't want to say it's not forgiving because it kind of is forgiving. I mean, it's, it looks great. So you got a couple seconds to work with it before it starts curing, I guess you should say. So yeah, that looks good. Um, totally unrelated, but I am remembering to order UV resin right now. And for those of you who need it, it is on sale right now on Amazon. $35.69 for the 500 grams. So that's six bucks off. Pretty decent deal. Okay, that's it. That's mm. all she wrote. I'm going to, we're using Armor Etch, by the way. Use whatever. I like Armor Etch better than Etch All. I've used them both. I think that Armor Etch is thicker, and I like it to be thicker, uh, especially when you're not wasting it. You can reuse it. I really like mm -hmm. that fact. Yeah. So I'm going to leave this here. It's 1044 right now by my watch. Get some of that glob. I'm just going to watch it, babysit it. Let's well, and the side. nice thing about having that tumbler cradle is, that, look, I mean, Rachel just literally scooted it over. You don't have to worry about, I, I like that it can lay that way and you don't have to like set it up so that it will like run. It can lay you know down, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That was a lot of thoughts that I couldn't get out. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I'm trying to think. So I have all this cut out. I'm going to click done over here and then we'll take you into design space. Okay. You can switch over. So here are the cut files that I am Oh, you know using. what? You're not plugged in. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I had one job, back. That's okay. I, I had it on the full screen, so I didn't even see that three wasn't plugged in. It was my Perfect. fault. Let's give her a, a moment. There we go. Come on, honey. We got it, Rachel. Come on, honey. Perfect. Well, kind of. Come on. Is this a cut file? Did I make that cut file? You made all of these. The father figure one? You made all of these. Whoops. <laughs> so glad you remember your work, Becca. That's now, how many I've made, fair, though. This was one of the first cut file collections you made, I think. Uh, so this is one of my favorites, which is Go Ask Your Mom. I wear a shirt that says Go Ask Your Dad. It's one of my favorites. I wear, it all the, I wear it all the time. So I made this into a, um, a stencil. So all I did was take it, take a square, slice the cut file out of the square. It's as easy as that. It's You cannot mess that up. Uh, this one, I literally just sized it. I did nothing to this cut file. I didn't manipulate it in any way, shape, or form. I just sized it. 
So it's not a dad bod, it's a father figure. That's going on a shirt, of course, because it's begging, begging to be worn. And then this is the keychain that we are making out of faux leather and another one of Becca's Father's Day slash dad cut files that says Top Dad, you know, like mimicking the Top Gun logo, which is super cute. So all I did was take some basic shapes here, which I got. Let me see. Let me unhide this here. Did I unhide it? Or did I ungroup it? Where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm just going to show you like a up close on what I did here. Now, can we see before I have united this? It's rectangle, rectangle. I made one rectangle tiny. That's it. Now, I did go to the shapes and get the rounded one because you can get the rounded one or like the, I don't know, hard edged one, the really squared ed one, edged one. I got the round, ed the round edged rectangle. I mean, just like I didn't even manipulate it in any way. I just sized it, duplicated it. And then once you duplicate it, you can go up here and press that orientation lock and make it super, super long and skinny. And that's exactly what I did for this, that little part. That's it. You just take all that together and you knot it. Now, why do I want it to look like this? Why is it weird looking? Because my key ring is going to go right here. So this is going to fold over on itself and be like two-sided. So you can make two of these and put it on two. What is it? I'm dying laughing. You have a cut file of this, don't you? I have that exact cut file on the website. <laughs> but I love that you've shown them, Rachel. You know what? That, what happened? I don't know. You know what, Becca? I love that you showed them. That's it's design fine. space there. It's fine. Or if you're a freaking member of Oak and Lamb, just use the cut Download file. Download the there. cut file. Just use the cut file. Now, I made the file for one of those phone hangy thingies. Remember that we yes, sublimated? I remember. Oh, I, I remember. thought that's what it was. I thought you were using my cut file. I wasn't paying attention. No, that's how good I am. I can make my own cut files and design. You've them. given them invaluable instruction. You know, that's going to help me sleep better tonight. I think, I think so. Me that. Also, you use the rounded square. Wow. Right. Now, I'm Some people may not have known that was available. Please, Becca, please measure, measure. Oh, hang on. We got we to gotta spill over. See, this is why you babysit it. We got to spill over. Hang on. Everybody, everybody calm down. Nobody freak out. Nobody get worried. Becca's like, no one is worried, Rachel. Okay. No one can see it, I don't think. <laughs> Nobody freak out. Caught. Caught in the nick of time. In the nick of time. Hang on. I want this to look good, so y'all are going to just have to bear with me. What's this new voice you're doing? Becca, what it's do you like, want from me? It's like a soul voice. Hang on. Hang on. Everybody, everybody <laughs> just hang on right there. Hang on just for a second. It's my favorite. Somebody in this world whom I love... Uh, has this quote that they say about a thousand times a day and I have to quote it now because it's just it's just one of my favorites and what they do is they're talking about any minor inconvenience and you know you could say oh that thing is a piece of crap that thing's you know, you know. and they say piece of junk there's no k in the word junk piece of junk that's what it is so now I just say it all the time. John. Piece of junk. junk. So that's all I say all the time. It's a piece of John. Piece of John. Love it. Okay. Make sure you're measuring your uh, youth small shirt that your dad will be wearing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, here's a great question. Yes. Impatient crafter question. How long must I wait to glue acrylic letters onto wood that has been sprayed with poly? I'm going to say not that long. No, I would just put them on there. I'm going to say like. Until it's not sticky. Ten minutes, give or take. You know what I would say? What? The sticky poly will make it stick Dear better. God. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. Just, I, I personally would just wait until it wasn't sticky to touch. <laughs> uh, are you still on three? Yeah. Do you want me not to be? No, you can be there. Make okay. sure you mirror your uh, HTV. White on the t-shirt, HTV. This top dad, that's HTV. This is regular vinyl. This is going to be faux leather. So make sure you switch all those settings. So when you hit continue, and they all are going to be cut with a fine point blade, that means all of the projects I'm making today are Cricut Explorer friendly, which is phenomenal. Uh, so you're going to be using everyday iron-on on two of these. You're going to be using premium vinyl on one of these. And then the other one, we just used uh, faux leather dash paper thin. That, that's what we used. Okay, I'm done in design space now, Becca. Okay. 
I'm going to go back and look at y'all's questions, comments, concerns. I'm going to put out uh, your dad's extra small youth t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to find a dad with an extra small body. I'm going to preheat my mini easy press to the second heat setting. I can't give you a degree on that because... Neither can they. <laughs> it's inaccurate. So where's my mat? I got to weed this out on my mat. You guys see that even me, who's been cricketing going on like seven years, I still will reach for a mat to put my material on it to weed it. That's called dedication. Well, it's just called smart weeding. It's called dedication and smart weeding. Yes, it is. Even though this isn't the stickiest mat in the world, it still helps. It still helps. You're welcome, Kat. You're welcome for that confirmation. How is Kat doing? She seems feisty as normal. Cat, how's Scott doing? How's that pergola? Have you lived out there? It is gorgeous with your koi pond. Love it. Okay. So easy. This is so easy. Now listen, this down here, you're going to you're gonna want to weed this like it's a stencil. Wow, this mat is so not sticky. It's not really being that third hand I need it to be. Did right you bray now. it down? No, ma'am. I don't need my flaws pointed out. Thank you. I'm though. just curious to know if it would actually work. It probably would work if I braid it down, but now it's sticky. Okay. I'm going to braid it down while it's sticky. You would, wouldn't you? Yeah, because it's HTV. I'm not Becca. Plain and simple. I'm just, I'm just not perfect like Becca. One day, every That's day I wake up and strive to be perfect like Becca. Just it'll never happen. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't think highly of myself in a, in a unhealthy way. Good. But Wayne said to me the other day, he did something. He was like, did I mess your hair up? And I was like, you can't mess up perfection. And he was like, oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> my hair is always far from perfect, by the way. It's just, like, so imperfect that I don't care. Becca, you've been growing your hair out for so long to let it be imperfect. It's perfectly imperfect, it's yeah. It's perfectly imperfect. Kidding. Little filler. Okay. Oh, I love weeding HTV. Hey, you left the middle of the AM, bud. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks. I would have caught that. I'm kidding. I probably would not have. It would have been on my shirt and I would have been screwed. Okay, bring in your dad's extra small youth t-shirt. Did you um, lint roll that right? No. I'm, a I'm just wondering. I mean, like, you're, you're the one that's always about alcohol, cleaning with alcohol. I thought you might want to lint roll the shirt. That's crooked as the, be the dog's hind leg. You guys heard that if one? only we had a fun tool behind you. It's not behind me. It's to your left. To, but, uh. Is it in a drawer? <laughs> That's my right. If you were looking at it, it would have been your left. Do you guys see the attitude that I deal with on a daily basis? You guys, do you see the attitude that I've got? I don't feel like I deserve that. Then she just grunted at me. <laughs> it's, like, what? it's like we're an old married what? couple. <laughs> okay, you usually want these about three inches down from the top. I'm going to scoop mine in a little bit, though. Because that sounds like a lot. A lot, a lot Morning, Stacy. Looking good, Rach. Thanks. That feels. That feels low. Th th I know. That's what I was saying. I think it's three inches on an actual adult shirt. Excuse me. This is a totally an adult <laughs> shirt. This, a, don't be spreading lies, Becca. This is an adult shirt. That's better. You all, I love Rachel so much that I smelled her shoes for her this weekend. Uh, yeah, you and everybody else that was with us. We did. Rachel and I have. To. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> she forced them to smell my my shoes. We did a blind smell test. That's how weird we are. You probably don't want to hang out with us. I mean, it just gives you insight. Like, Cat, we Cat's literally, like not shocked, not surprised. Literally made everyone. Have you been camping lately? Cat, I leave Saturday for a week-long camp trip. I am out of my mind excited. We are busy, busy, busy this week. 
filming tons of content for you all to because up, while we are up. gone, I was yeah. going to announce this while I am gone, we will be premiering pre-recorded. So we will be live in the comments with you, but we will not be live in the video. So we'll still be with you, but not with you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Rachel has no idea what that's from. Um, Jen says, I try to use those guides, but usually do better just by eyeballing it. Honestly, Jen. Yeah. Just depends. Just depends. Um, had some spillage when I wasn't looking. Oh no! Did you ruin the cup? I think it did sink in a little. It's okay. Just don't, just don't make three crafts at once like I am. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It'll still be adorable. Ruined is a very heavy word. It is. Okay. I got my easy press. Beck should wear this shirt. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> He does not have a dad bod, though. No, he does not. He's got an eight pack. Mr. Muscles. Um, I could sing the praises of the uh, mini Easy Press all day long because it is phenomenal. It's Can you phenomenal. sing it though? Can I see what? You said I could sing it, so I want you to actually oh, sing its praises. Well, I mean, I, I usually leave the singing to you. I'll give you a beat. That's no. I tried. That's all I've got. Why is there not a camera over there on That's all I've got. <laughs> Why is there not a camera over there? Becca, what are we doing for our birthday this year? Another birthday live. I loved it last year. Actually, Nana, I think I'm going to the lake this year. I don't know. I'm not sure. Our birthday's on a Wednesday. Um, ain't, Rachel's getting her hair done on my birthday. I said, please, no. And, 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 a, and both the birthday twins were like, oh, no, it's, it's fine. fine. And I'm like, literally any other day. Yeah. But I'm starting to look like a like a lost boy from Peter Pan, so <laughs> I definitely need a, a hairdo. I need my hair done. My hair done. Yeah, for those of you who are at Camp with the Flock, we're going, um, me and Anna are going with Alan and Lisa. So you all remember Alan and Lisa. We're excited. Little campy trip. Oh, so cute. It's adorable. Okay. Next. I gotta weed this mm -hmm. on the map. On the map that I'm gonna braid down. This oh, time. that's so smart, Rachel. Thanks. Thanks. Thought you'd be proud of me. Oh, braiding it down. Now this is a little one, so I'm getting out my little mermaid, a little mermaid weeder tool. I do love this weeding tool. Uh oh, like it a, didn't help at all the brain. <laughs> we uh, did, maybe we should just throw that mat away. Now this is a very little cut file, so pay attention. Make sure you're not. Weeding up anything that you need. Oh, I've weeded up a star, but I can get it. I'm going to get my handy-dandy reverse tweezers. Grab that store. Stacey said a little jealous here, Becca. I don't go camping again until the middle of July. Stacy, schedule a trip. That's too long of a time. We're going again in July. We're going with Zach and Amber, and Rachel's going with us on that I'm trip. Going. I'm really excited. And then we're going, I don't have one in August, but Scott and Kat are coming down this way and we're going to camp with them in September. So that's going to be fun. Um, and then I have two in October scheduled and that's it so far. Normally I have a ton scheduled out. Okay. Taking this off. Now again, this is going to be glued like this like this to where that little hoop will have a little key ring on it so uh you can put this down either side you want just make sure that's nice and even scott or russ said roofy oh you know from hook yeah i love that well i used to love that movie and then my brothers wore it did they? Oh. <clears throat> Doesn't surprise me. That and Major Pain. Oh, my word. We watch that movie all the time, too. Hey, Catherine. Good morning. Yeah. Lynette, what are your birthday plans? Miss Linda, what are your birthday plans? I don't see Grizel here, but her birthday's also coming up. She's, in, she's on a trip. She's on a big trip. I'm Teflon sheeting this one. Oh, that's smart, Rach. Hmm. 
think somebody, I'm not going to name any names, is overthinking this. Me never. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just run of the mill overthinking. That's okay. That's pretty funny. Okay, we're filming two flock talks today. Give me good ideas. We have a list of ideas we can choose from, but give me an idea for a flock talk, and if it's good enough, we might change our idea. It's up to you guys. No pressure. Yeah, let it snow. No pressure. Getting out my handy dandy keychain accessory bin. It was a There's a ton in there. Huh? There's a ton of those in There's there. There's a ton. Oh, and they were cheap too, or I probably would have not purchased it. Jen, happy late birthday. She said, I'm now 40. My B day was Friday the 9th, and I had a great weekend. I'm so glad you had a great weekend. Happy birthday yes. weekend. I have no plans, and Annette says, I had a few ideas but didn't follow through right now. I'll just be celebrating that school will be over and probably crash. I need a fun idea. And Annette, I'm hoping that my husband takes me to the melting pot. I have to be honest. I haven't been there in a while, and I would really love to go. Hey, Wayne. Yeah. Hey, dumpster dad. I also asked for this new watch. It's a swatch. Does anybody else have a swatch? They were a thing back in, like, the, I guess it was the 80s or 90s. Um. But now they're coming back, and there's this really cool neon one I'm excited about. I think I might be getting I for my birthday. I need to see a picture of this thing. I'll show you right now. Let me find it for you, Rachel. I need to, I need to see this. I mean, I don't think that anything is going to replace my Apple Watch, just to be honest. But yeah. You know, I love my Apple Watch. I love watches. You're probably going to hate it because you hate everything I love in life. That's not necessarily true. You hate all the good stuff. Okay, I sent it to your thingy so you can pull it up and they can Wow, it to too. my thingy. Yeah, for you. Did it come through? Hang on. Just keep hanging on. I mean, it's... Keep, keep hanging it's on. It's definitely something that you're not going to wear to formal events. Cute, oh. right? It's very neon. It's big, yeah. which I like a big watch. Yeah, I mean, I I normally don't like neon, but I love this watch. Oh man, <sighs> I mean, I'm excited about it. I knew Rachel would love it. It's just her style. I, I don't think I can live without it. I thought it would be on your list. <laughs> I think it's going on my list right now. <laughs> That's how much I care about Rachel's opinion. Big old goose. Order it. That's not true. I value Rachel's opinion. I just don't always listen to it. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah. Which is fine. Well, her the same with me. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to start at the top and add some glue around the top. Start going around the sides. But you don't want to do the whole thing because there's just no way you're going to get that thing lined up. In time. Dream vacation places, Nanette says, is a good flock talk topic. Rachel and I are so boring. I don't know that that would be good for it because we're like you know we just we'd be fine in our backyards just with a week off with nothing to do <laughs> we're such homebodies Honestly, i mean i do have dreams it's like embarrassing sometimes i think holland would be a really nice place to go um i think obviously an alaskan vacation is top on me and uh greece would be really beautiful cabo or any type of place that i can stay in a hut over the water you know i even though I'm not a beach person, I think that would be fun. Um, Anybody's a beach person if you're literally in the water. Yeah, like that. I agree. Stacy said, "Busy day ahead. Four tumblers, thirty-two personalized tote bags, and a personalized snackle box." Stacy, that is a fantastic day. You're gonna feel so accomplished by the end of the day. No. Will you be able to get all of those done today? Let me know. So, are like the personalized totes like the same graphic, and then you just put a specific name or something like that in them? Or do you have to make different graphics for all of them? Yeah, Shirley, that's that's right. She said, yes, you'll be busy. That is a great sign that your business is growing, Sheep Sister. That's awesome. And Stacey's been doing really well at the craft fairs, craft shows that she's been doing on the weekends too. So that's so fun. Um, we went to Rogersville, which is close around here. 
two weekends ago and they had a little street fair with different crafts and stuff like that. And I'm honestly amazed by some of the stuff that people will bring to craft fairs. Stacy's setup is phenomenal. Look it up. If you're in the flock, look at her posts. She knows what she's doing. She has great content. But some people sometimes set up and I'm like, guys, what you're trying to sell, literally, my 10-year-old makes. And, like, let's be original. Let's do... Let's do things that people actually want. True. And then they get upset that they sit there and nothing sells. Yeah, yeah. Have friends who will be honest with you. Um, I mean, they can tell you your stuff sucks or that you need to come up with another idea without being hurtful. And if, like, you can't take that criticism, then you might need to evaluate you. you. I don't mean to be ugly. I'm just saying. I mean, you're not going to be successful in life if you don't allow other people to help you. Yeah. Just to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, talk to Stacy. She knows she knows what she's doing. Sorry, Stacy. You're probably going to be inundated with messages now. I'm scraping I probably this should off. have asked you first. Yes. I'm sure you guys can see. I'm scraping this off. Uh, Becca didn't really think about the baby being in there. It's okay. You want me to rinse it off? I didn't mind. Okay. If, if you wake the baby up, at least it's you waking him up and not me. It's fine. He'll go back to sleep. He's not been that sleep. Um, you want me to stay on camera too? Or are you going to do something else? Or do you want me to go you to camera? Stay on too. Two's fine. Just rinse it real good. Bring it right back to me. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> well, guys, that was, this is going to be like right on time. This, this is going to be a pretty good, pretty good live. I'm pretty excited about it. We got our armor etch done i can take my gloves off i still have some rubbing alcohol because when i take off this vinyl there's going to be a little bit of that armor etch still in like the nooks and crannies so you're going to need some paper towels some more water if you want to or some rubbing alcohol or something like that just to get all that residue off and then you'll be good to go let's see here i find it hard to always know what people want how do how do you know that? So, Nanette, really it's just like um, watching social media, watching TikTok, watching Pinterest. It's kind of a trend spotting in the way of you being able to keep your eyes on what's hot and what's new, what's coming up the, you know. Thank you, Becca. Look how beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take this off. And then all we'll have is the insides of the letters. Becca's really good at trend spotting. She's she's good at that. Which, if you're on social media, the more you're on social media, ow, this got in my cut. Ow, 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 ow. Don't let Armor Edge get in your cuts, guys. It hurts. <laughs> okay. Done. Now. Right, good, wipe it down. Has anybody not etched before? Let me know if any of you guys have not etched. It's so satisfying. I love etching. I also think it's like the easiest thing in the world to do. And it's permanent, which is great. Yeah, you can wash it, you can dishwash it, you can yep. I mean if the if the cup or whatever is microwave safe then it's microwave safe it's really nice you don't have to seal it um i do want to say rach and will probably agree with me if it's your first time etching maybe try on something flat like a pie plate or something like that until you get um the hang of it the hang of it and see how like the consistency is and everything rachel that looks really good how cute now again got some spillage there on the side but just on that one side though not bad it looks really good and it's permanent, you know, it's not, it, it eats away on the, yeah. the uh, enamel on that glass. So we've got this, we have our t-shirt, and we have our Top Gun keychain. Super cute. Super cute. Beth said, I'm thinking of selling Star Wars name tags I made for our trips, hoping people will think that's cute. I didn't see him, Beth, I need to look at him. Yeah. Oh, wrong camera. There's Rachel. 
There's our Rachel. That's such a cute shirt. I need, I was talking about the one you have on. I need to get another one of those. Oh, this one? Yeah, I love that shirt. It's so soft. I can't remember where I got it. You're welcome. She brought me more stuff today. She unluckily for her, but lucky for me, forgot to take a freaking cute swimsuit back too. So now I'll get that too. It's brand spanking. What am I doing? Show it to him. It's the cutest thing ever. It's from Lime Lime Ricky, I think. I had never heard of them. You tried this on the camp on the camp at the camp trip. It is so cute. I only had fourteen. I only had fourteen days to send it back. The bottoms and and they're reversible. Forgot to reversible bottoms. Look how freaking cute. I love this bottom. Yeah, Checker. I would do that bottom with the top, with the Checker other top. Bottom. And it's a high rise. I love a good high rise. Yes. And here's the top look. Oh, it's so cute. It I can't. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Oh. A little bow. I love the pattern. <sighs> You're going to be adorable in it. Thanks, Becca. Adorable. <sighs> so cute, though. Yeah. Becca spoils me. Uh, how are you guys doing? I made three crafts today. Becca came in. 9.30, like mm, two seconds after I got, like, literally, I pulled in the bag, pulled in, and she goes, hey, uh, are we going live in an hour? And I was like, we sure are. And she was like, I was letting her sweat for a second. And she was like, okay. I said, I prepped it. She was like, oh, great. <laughs> she normally goes live on Tuesdays, and so I, I didn't send yeah, any yeah. ideas. And, but I didn't, like, I checked this morning, like, first thing, and there wasn't even a title or anything online. I hadn't looked again. I knew, like, she wouldn't just show up and have nothing. But I was like, <laughs> she was like, do I need a help? You going live in an hour? <laughs> yep. Listen, it's funny. Yeah. Sometimes it happens like that. Um, I love etching stuff. This was a dollar twenty. This was like a $2, less than that. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I never know what to break down the money value in. The cream and stuff because yeah. you're putting it back. It's not I like know. you're just. It's like a dollar fifty for this. Now here's the thing too. Take this up a notch. Stay at the Dollar Tree, okay? Fill this up with Hershey Kisses. I was gonna say candy. Fill, fill yeah. Fill this up with some okay, some Slim Jims, some a movie turkey. ticket. That love that. Yeah. Some gift cards. Stick some gift cards in here to Bass yeah. Pro Shop or whatever in the world. You know, Tractor Supply, Home Depot, and you got yourself a really cool personalized yeah. gift right here. Roll the shirt. Put it in it. Uh, Okay. Put the shirt in here. There's a lot we can do. Yeah. You can go over to the party section. They have like rolls of cellophane, like to wrap things. You can cellophane this up. There's a lot that you can do here. I love a little keychain. Honestly, keychains are super easy to make. T-shirts are super easy to make. Um, Father's Day's coming up. If you don't have anything lined up, bust your cricket out because you can make a lot. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the membership. Again, use the code FUN at checkout. Get $10 off your very first month with us that makes the monthly membership 9.99 which is a phenomenal price you can try us out we have over a thousand digital cut files with free commercial use licensing so i could take all the projects i made today and sell them completely legally which is phenomenal uh, that is not the case for most membership websites usually you have a free personal use license which means you can make them or gift them to somebody, but you cannot sell them legally. Uh, we're not like that. We also have incredible member-only perks like a member-only private Facebook group. We have a member-only podcast and training videos, um, technique videos. We have comparison videos, all kinds of stuff in the membership along with those uh, free courses. If you happen to not know a lot about your Cricut machine, you will be a pro after you watch those courses. Uh, we always are adding more to the membership, more cut files, more goodness, more videos, more fun. We absolutely love growing our community. You guys don't know what you mean to us. If you can't get a membership right now, that's okay. We get it. Do something for us that's completely free. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Press the bell to get notified. We do go live a couple times a week, and we have pre-recorded content a couple times a week. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. We are dangerously close to 30,000 subscribers, mm. which is amazing. Thank you all so much for that. But craft is over. We'll talk for a few minutes. Let us know if you guys have any chit-chat questions or comments that you'd like to talk about. Uh, the weather today is absolutely stunning. It is sunny. There's barely any clouds in the sky. It is 66 degrees, which I can't think of a more perfect degree. Oh, beautiful. Just perfect. So I need to know, since the craft is over, I actually am curious. I live outside at my house like the kids are always playing. Even if the kids aren't playing, I'm reading a book or something. I need outdoor furniture that is comfortable. I have some wooden rocking chairs. They're not super comfortable. I don't really want them. I'm thinking like a fun chase lounge or something like that. I have like a wraparound porch with some space. Let me know what you love. Extra points if you send me a link 
or tag me in a picture of it in the private Facebook group, whatever. Let me know. That light's driving me crazy. I'm going to go fix it. I'll get it. Thank you. Is that good? That's perfect. I love that light. We're going off in 15 minutes, but that light. Well, it's been mostly overhead, so I haven't really it. seen you. That's true. I haven't seen you large. I've never etched, but I'm going to, I hope. Etching, I think, is a very, like, how much is etch all? Nine bucks? Yeah. Eight, I don't know. Whatever. And you're going to use it for, you will lose it or throw it away before you use it all. And then guaranteed. you can use scrap vinyl for the stencil. Um, practice on an old cup or something that like you might or might not want to yeah. throw away or an old dish, a, a pie dish, a loaf pan. One of my um, favorite things to practice casserole on dish. is going to the Dollar Tree and mm -hmm. in the same aisle where they have their candles and the votives, they have little bitty square or circular mirrors. Yes. Little bitty ones. Mirrors are Buy good. those. They're flat easy to use you can really see the etching cream on them super well go buy some dollar 25 mirrors and practice on those plus if you love them use some floral cut files or something like that you can hang them up if you love them but rachel made this project that maker's gonna learn and i absolutely love the project she took a piece like a six inch or eight inch styrofoam round put a flat mirror like a same size mirror on it took wood veneer wrapped around the side and then um, leather and these little brad things. And then she etched the mirror and I made one just like it that says camp hair, don't care. And I still use it to this day in my camper. I saw it in there. I, is it not it's so adorable. cute in there though? But it's, it's light, so it does well for yeah, the camper. Yeah, styrofoam, yeah. And then it's custom because it's etched. So it's the cute. cutest project ever. We may have to like recreate something like that That'd for them here. Fun. Yeah, Yeah. So cute. But I love working with etching cream. I've worked with it for years, and it is so, in my opinion, it's forgiving because yeah. you can slap as much as you want on there as long as it doesn't spill over the sides like I do. I mean, again, I even make mistakes to this day. I mean, there's some, but are you going to notice that mistake? No. It's now, not. one way that you can, if you are worried about spillage like that, when they tape it up, tape it up, tape yeah, it up. tape it up, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, when we were putting the etching cream on there, if you're worried about it spilling over the sides, get some painter's tape. Uh, just Tape the whole thing up if you're worried about it. Like, if you're selling it, I'd go ahead and tape it up anyways. Same. Precaution. Same. Because, again, what you're going to spend in masking tape or painter's tape is going to pay for itself for yes. peace of mind for you to be able to walk away from this for 20 minutes or half an hour. Um, Mom said, loving yeah. everything about Rachel today, shirt, hair, face. Doesn't she look just sparkling Thank and happy you. and amazing? Thank you. Happy looks good on her. Um, Kat says, off subject, did you notice the amount of views of your view, the video? Some of the last week are in the thousands when I was looking yesterday. Congrats. Yes, Thank Kat. You. Thank you. We're so thrilled, honestly. You guys it's incredible. You don't even know. Me and Becca wake up, not like we weren't, we, not like we've always not been grateful, but we've just been waking up the past couple of months just like, wow, overwhelmed with how things are doing with, you know, work. Yeah, we... We're so thankful for you guys. We're always so frank around here with you all. And so I don't mind to share this. Our YouTube revenue now almost covers our salary. Just YouTube revenue. That's not subscription. Ow. That's not uh, affiliate income. That's so not any of those, just YouTube revenue. Uh, yeah, it which is almost phenomenal. covers, which means Anna will be coming on sooner than later. Wow. And I mean, you guys are just phenomenal for helping us grow YouTube. You. Yeah, so it really you. is. It really is. You guys is. don't know what what you all mean to us. We would be nowhere without you. Yeah. Without the flock, without the viewers, without the people who take time out of their day to sit here and watch us, we would be gone. We'd yeah. be out of here. So thank you all so much for that. Well, this has been a great live. They're not done. They're still saying that you're shining. They're not finished talking about oh, you. Oh, thanks. You guys are sweet. I yes. love all of you. Yeah. I'm pretty darn happy. We are about to best 30,000. We are. We're we so are. close. I know. We're so close. Which means, like, if you think about it, we're pretty close to 50,000, too. Because the the way, the way rate at which you grow just becomes It's true. The more bigger. you have, the faster you yeah. grow. It's just a fact. Fact of the YouTube. Page. I wonder, Rach, do you think this time next year we will hit 100,000? Yes. Do you think that's attainable? Yes. I kind of think so, too. Yes. kind of think so, too. I'm not so saying, too. yes, like, you'll be way over it. But I think that's very, very attainable for us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this isn't the first time I've grown a YouTube channel. This isn't my first no. rodeo about it. Becca hopped on right when we hit 100,000. 100, literally at, right after. At Makers Gonna Learn. And by the time we pieced out, they were rounding the corner to half of a million yeah. subscribers. And that was in the span of just a couple of years.
Years. Dude, I mean, not even two full years. It's, it's a yeah. quick growth when you put the work in. It really is. So we're putting the work in, and we're seeing we're seeing the repercussions of that. We're seeing the return on our investment in it, and it's really amazing to see. So thank you guys again. Uh, make these for your dad. If you if you have some of this, if you want to go to your local Dollar Tree, there was several. There was this one, a smaller one, identical, and then like some other, you know, like they start small and then they get bigger, like the beer. Uh, the, glasses. Ah, dang it. What are they called? Cat, what are they called? I forget. But there was a ton of different kinds. I opted for the big one. I thought that'd be the, you know, the best. Well, easier to etch on, I too. went down the candy aisle thinking I'd fill it up, with some, but I thought it's fine. Um, you could definitely do Father's Day at the Dollar Tree. Do it. It's great. But the cut files we have, there's so many of them. They're absolutely adorable. There's some that says, I can fix that with, like, a drill and a measuring tape, which is adorable. And, I mean, Becca has really outdone herself. There's one with a big old beard, and it says, don't hate me because I'm beardiful. And it's got these aviators. It's so funny. funny. It's so cute. So there's just so many really great dad cut files out there. So definitely peruse around those if you haven't already. If you've been a member for a while, don't forget about our older collections from when we first started. So definitely check those out if you haven't. They're great. But... Um, join, join the membership, 10 bucks off your very first month. So it's not a long-term commitment. We usually run sales on our yearly membership, which means, uh, you'll be with us for a year, but this is for a month. It's like a trial for $9.99. You can dip your toes in, get in the Facebook group, try it out. Uh, you know, download some cut files, make some projects, see what there is to see in that membership. And you'll be, you'll be sticking around. You will be, but Thank you guys so much. Anything else? Do we need anything else? Paulina, we made a shirt for Father's Day, a keychain, a faux leather keychain with HTV, and an etched beer stein, which is super cute, that we got from the Dollar Tree. Um, all of this together would probably be like, honest, like 15 bucks max all together, which is great. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Goblet? No, it's not a goblet. Jan said goblet. Goblet has like a stem and like a very distinct. It's it's like a Pilsner glass. It's it's Weizen is what I'm looking at. W e i z e n is the kind of beer that's in it. I don't know. I can't. I don't know the actual name of the glass though. Not that it matters. There was a lot of glasses at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Take your pick. I would not get that one that starts small and then gets. I bigger wouldn't either. It would be a nightmare. I, I would get a straight. I was tickled to death when I got in there and saw exactly what I. I mean, this was. To the T, exactly what I was wanting. So I'm glad they had that. I'm going to link what I'm talking about, and you all can at least see what I'm talking about. Because I have no, no idea what it's called. Even the description doesn't really say. <laughs> Pilsner is more, is more just contour. I don't know. Look at what I shared. I have no clue. Get a beer glass. Get any beer glass. A straight one. Non tapered will do better. Uh, we'll be live with you Thursday. We're going to go film some content for you all mm -hmm. for this week and next week because when we peace out like that, because there'll be weeks I'll peace out yep. and we won't be going live. Becca's peacing out. We won't be going live. I'm going to do some fun things that week. So, what we're going to do instead is have pre recorded videos for you. We're not going to leave you high and dry. So, you'll be able to enjoy us next week and feel like we're here even though we're not. Uh, so, we're going to head out and do that. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you Thursday.